the little guy is back. All right, so the last time we checked out this computer, we pretty much just left it how it was, kept Windows on it. It was an early version of Windows 10, and honestly, it was chugging. It wasn't doing too well. If you wanted to check out that other video, it'll be linked right up here. I think I have something that could uh, bring this back to life. We're gonna download Zorin OS. We did try out Zorin one other time on the ThinkPad, though that was the light version since it is only a uh, X32 CPU. This is an X64 CPU, the Atom processor. It's still not good. The score is less than a thousand on CPU benchmark, and I know it's just gonna be slow. The only good thing about it, quote unquote good, there's four gigabytes of DDR3. That's not bad. I'll take that any day. 32 gigabytes of storage, but we are going to be adding in an SD card. So I'll throw this in and this is going to add uh, 64 gigabytes, I believe. So we should be able to get some simple games on here. I want to test out just some light games, mostly being indie games. I'm playing Peggle. I don't care. I'll do everything in my power today to play Peggle because that's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. I just want to play Peggle. That's it. But we're also going to test out some other games. I'm going to try to test out some older games as well. Like maybe we'll try to see if Fallout New Vegas will try running or something. But I don't know. I want to test out a lot of games. We didn't really look at much. I tried recording this back in January, but I did not have Ethernet. And for whatever reason, I just, I don't know what it is. Anytime I try any version of Linux, none of them are able to identify any of my Wi-Fi ad adapters. Now that we have Ethernet, we're actually going to be able to connected to Wi-Fi, get it up and running, see what we're going to be able to do. I'm not going to do the normal testing, like we're not going to do like everyday testing. If you want to see that, like I said, watch the video linked, but we're going to just mostly be doing gaming and uh, downloading Linux mostly. So uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, so we have everything hooked up. We have the USB drive plugged into the mini PC. I don't know which version I want to do yet or if I want to mess with any of the settings. I honestly think we're just going to go with the basic option because uh, what else is there to do? I don't think we need safe graphics or modern NVIDIA drivers because this is a decently old computer, over five years old. So I think just a normal Zorin OS should work. So let's do that. All right, we have Zorin OS downloading. It might take a little bit. I wouldn't be too surprised about that. It should honestly not be too bad. This is technically newer than the ThinkPad, so I have decently high hopes for it. All right, I said there was no errors found. Fingers crossed it actually means it because I know it lies sometimes. I'll let you guys know when we actually boot into Zorin. And we'll test out some stuff. I know we we won't download anything until we actually you know install Zorin we'll do some basic stuff we'll probably do some just like basic web browsing and stuff at that point just to uh test out how Zorin is oh look at that I'll be back and here we are uh we're just gonna try it first like I said we'll install it in a little bit but we're gonna try it make sure it actually is usable because if not I'm going to switch and get a different operating system I ain't dealing with this today I'm making sure this works no matter what I do Uh oh, <laughs> hopefully that's not bad. Would you look at that? We're actually on the home screen. All right, let me make sure we're actually like connected to Wi-Fi. So it looks like we actually are set up to Wi-Fi. So we can just go straight ahead into Firefox and just see how this works. Hopefully it doesn't take too long because I know that was an issue with the ThinkPad is it took like at least a minute to boot up like literally anything, even the settings. So fingers crossed. Hey, would you look at that? <laughs> Pretty much immediately after I said something skip skip i want to go to youtube i want to go to youtube actually i'm gonna get that youtube extension well that is an issue i cannot type my mouse works but my keyboard does not work uh let me try to figure that out all right so that's weird it's actually letting me type like regularly but as soon as i go into firefox does not let me type or anything so that's very weird we can still access youtube it's right there but that's very weird hopefully it doesn't do that for other things why is there always issues like every time no matter what i do with linux there's just always issues with something oh my gosh and i can't type so i can't even i have an idea we're gonna type it in the bottom left corner we're gonna copy it we're gonna paste it nothing are you kidding me one more time what is going on am i am i stuck now what what is going on oh my gosh I had to restart the PC. There's nothing I could do. I literally could not exit that text box. Sorry you guys had to see me freak out like that. Oh my God. This is what I'm talking about. Like when stuff just does not go right. Every time I try to do anything, doesn't matter if it's in Linux, Windows, could be on a phone or a tablet, I, on anything, something has to go wrong. Also, we're just gonna install Zorin. I'm not even gonna mess with trying it or doing anything like that. It works for the most part. I really hope I don't run into issues like that again, but we're just gonna install it and I'll get back to you guys when we actually have it installed. 
All right, so I'm downloading the update. I might split it up so it's dual booting Zorn OS and Windows 10, because the Windows 10 is a little nice because uh, it just has everything that I'm used to, you know? But it would be nice actually having like Zorn OS if I'm actually able to game on this or actually able to use this as like a actual PC rather than just like a TV smart box, you know? <laughs> I'll let you guys know what I do. Yeah, I'm just gonna replace it. I really don't care. I'll figure it out on this thing. Allow it to do its smart TV things and I'll just figure it out. Oh, well. All right, so it's now installing I'm just gonna let's do its thing gonna let it install and then once it's finally done I'll probably give it a break just to let the computer cool down because there is no fan in this mini PC and I know it does get decently hot when you're doing a bunch of different stuff like this so I might give it a little break we'll see one hour later I have no clue what's going on because yeah it's like lagging a little bit see if we need to download anything like the screen's like going black and like see like i don't i don't understand what i'm doing wrong let's just start downloading stuff because honestly i ain't gonna let that stop me all right i'm gonna download steam and i'm gonna download the launcher for minecraft as well shouldn't take too long fingers crossed well we're gonna start off with minecraft because i really don't have high hopes for it so we're gonna play a very old version too probably alpha or beta but it's still probably not gonna run well all right we have minecraft booted up let's see how it does because honestly i don't think it did very well let me get an fps counter up six fps 10 starting to even out a bit here let me let me turn down some of the settings i mean hey we're playing at 30 FPS, so that's something. It's very laggy and stuttery, but we're we're playing here. Let me grab an older version. Let me see if I can play on that. All right, we're in an early version of alpha. I believe it's like alpha 1.1.2. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see how this does. So this technically feels a little more smooth. I don't know, honestly. I'd say it's just a little bit more smooth. It's not really playable though. I would not play Minecraft like this at all. It's technically running. I could see someone's first experience with Minecraft being something like this, so it's not too crazy. Random sapling. All right, let's go to Steam. Let's download some games there. I tried hooking up the SD card. I don't want to say it's Linux's fault, but the SD card's not being recognized. I know this SD card was having issues previously, so maybe it's something with that, but I filled up all the storage, so we're gonna play some games. A lot of them are gonna be uh, pretty old, pretty low end, but uh, I'm gonna be able to download Fallout 3, not New Vegas, unfortunately. I do not have 10 gigabytes that I can download it, unfortunately, but I do have enough for Fallout 3. So I will download that and we're probably gonna run it at like the lowest settings. Even then, I don't even know if it's gonna run, but I wasn't able to find an FPS counter on Zorin's software application. So we're gonna rank it like we did similarly to the ThinkPad where there's gonna be three categories. It's playable, it runs, and not playable. Pretty simple, we're gonna keep it with those three. Um, let's go ahead and boot up Peggle, honestly. Let's get straight into it. Let's go, we have Peggle. It's only a little laggy, only a little bit. Oh my gosh, this is way better than a ThinkPad. This is actually playable, oh my gosh. Let's go, I can play Peggle. I wanna see how the fever goes. Let's go. The Extreme Fever does technically slow it down and lag a little bit, but honestly, that's not bad at all. Let's go. See, was this so hard to ask for? I don't know why the ThinkPad couldn't do this for me. It had to be laggy. It had to be slow. But look at this. I'm doing pretty good. Three balls left. Let's go. Get in the 100k. 100k. This is completely playable. I don't know why you wouldn't want to play this. It's Peggle. One of the greatest games of all time. But let's move on to our next game. The next game that we have up is Hotline Miami. I've actually never played this before. I mean, this is running pretty well. The only thing that sucks is I have no sound whatsoever, which I guess it's a trade-off that I have to take. It seems like this game's honestly doing pretty well. Uh, what, what happened? How do we, what? Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right, stage clear. All right, we did it, we did it, we did it. <laughs> no <laughs> dude they, they chased me so fast this is kind of fun uh it's definitely playable though so we'll give it that we'll give in the playable let's move on to our next game we have slime rancher we're actually running this by 1024 by 600 resolution so it looks horrible it's playing kind of horrible there's a decent amount of input lag it does not play that well technically it is you know running so i'll put it in that category where it is running but there's no way that i'm Counting this as playable. Yeah, absolutely not. It's running at like maybe 20, 15 frames. It also just looks horrible. 
Like I feel like I have to squint just to look at anything. You know, this way you get. I really wanted to uh, show off the capabilities of this machine and really didn't want to just keep playing basic games and really wanted to see what I could push out of this. And it's good to know that this technically runs. Yeah, let's move on to the next game. You guys already know what I'm playing. We're playing Half-Life. We're actually playing this at 1080p, so it actually looks pretty good. Oh, look at those scientists. I still need to play Half-Life. I've yet to actually play the full game yet, but I will. Trust me, I will. I love the look of old, like, 2000s games and the old 3D games. Just, they hit different. I still don't have any sound, unfortunately, even though this runs natively on Linux. So that really sucks. I can't have the scientists yell at me for messing with the microwave. No! I feel like I'm so fast compared to everyone else. Yeah, this is playable. We're at... Like I said, 1080p, completely playable. I'm gonna leave you here, otherwise I'm gonna play this all night. Let's move on to the next game. The next game that we have up is Counter-Strike Source. I believe this is the Source one. Correct me if I'm wrong. See how it runs? I didn't mess with any settings, so I believe this is 1080p. Could be 720. Yeah, is that my connection? Oh my gosh. What? That is horrible. Yeah, I guess it's, uh, it technically runs, but no, I would not say this is playable. I would not play like this at all. I thought it was really good. You know, I thought it was pretty smooth. This is not smooth. Let's move on to our next and final game. Well, it looks like we're not going to be able to play Fallout. This is like my third or fourth time trying to install. There we go. Yeah, it's telling me. So it's telling me the download failed, saying that there's not enough storage, that there's a disk rate error. I don't know. It's a shame that it won't run, but given for how weak this system is, honestly, I think it's good to call it here. Now, honestly, I think we did see some improvement in gaming with Linux. I know we didn't really test much gaming last time. We really just streamed games because I honestly did not think this would be able to run any game whatsoever on Windows. And I was mostly right. Most games did lag, and I mean, even with downloading Linux, some of these games still did struggle to run, like uh, Slime Rancher. Technically is not playable, but, you know, that's your only way to play it then. I'm not gonna tell you how you should or should not play it. Besides the games you guys did see, there were a few games that just would not boot. Cluster Truck, Left 4 Dead, Portal, more 3D games that, you know, I thought I would at least be able to boot up, run the lowest settings, at least try to run, but it doesn't really seem like that's the case. No matter what I would do, they just wouldn't boot. I would just get a black screen for multiple minutes. So I just had to keep moving forward and uh, keep trying new games. I'm honestly just sad that we couldn't try Fallout. That was my biggest thing is I really just want to try Fallout. The games we were able to get working, honestly, ran all right. Like I said, we had a few that didn't really do too well, but you win some, you lose some. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys liked this video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.